Patrick Grace is an author and teacher from Vancouver, BC. He has published two chapbooks, A Blurred Wind Swirls Back for You in 2023 and Dastardly in 2021. And his first full-length collection, Deviant, is out now with the University of Alberta Press. He moonlights as managing editor for Plentitude Magazine, and you can follow him on Instagram at the poet Patrick. And I would like to warmly welcome the poet Patrick to read from his brand new, almost released collection. Oh no, sorry, it is released collection, Deviant. <laughs> sorry, thank you, Patrick. Welcome to All About Canadian Books. Thank you, Crystal, and thank you for having me. Um, yes, I'm here with Deviant, my brand new first full-length collection out with University of Alberta. Um, the poem I'm going to read is called A Cone of Light. This is not a poem I usually read. A lot of these poems are about growing up queer, about men that I've known, um, troublesome situations with men. But this is one of the few poems that made it in about family, a story that my sister and my mother, as I was growing up, used to tell me um, that I used to throw my mother's collectible toys into a hole in the porch. And I don't actually remember doing that. And I, I wanted to write this poem to sort of think a bit about memory and how with memory, sometimes if you're told something so many times, you don't really know as you get older if it happened or if you're just remembering it in the way that other people have told you. Because I don't actually remember doing this, but my mom and my sister would tease me. Remember you throw those old toys into the porch? And I don't actually remember doing it. Or, you know, like memory is kind of a funny thing, especially to get older. Um, so, yeah, this one is called A Cone of Light. On my bare stomach, I disappeared old toys down crumbling holes in the porch. The kids next door soared on a new swing set, clink, clink over the fence, hidden in rhododendrons, birds chattering, mom asleep again somewhere. My sister ran barefoot along the burning sidewalk, gate open. They all swung to the clink, clink of the chain links. I wasn't allowed over, nothing new breaking heads off trolls with bejeweled bellies and disappearing them down the hole. After the last beheading, I stretched myself on the sidewalk and burned ants with my magnifying glass. I was still learning about convex lenses in school. A cone of light entered my palm, nothing. A screen door banged and the mother screamed for her children, calling them back or calling them away. It might have been lunchtime. The sun was high. Our mom asleep somewhere. Traffic and chittering and grass upon grass upon grass. Thank you.